Hi everyone, Rich Wong here. So I'm now at the beautiful Muay Thai. Um, that's the Bennett Colony is. And I just want to um, quickly show you how to do a long exposure shot easily using the Huawei main can. So this is my setup. I have my main can which is locked onto my Gorilla port. Um, and I just wrap the Gorilla port um, around the, the top of the deck. Uh, hopefully it wouldn't fall down there, otherwise you see a video of how uh, May 10 suicide. Okay, now let's do a quick demo to show you how to capture a long exposure shot using the Huawei May 10. So the first thing you have to do is that you have to go to the uh, camera setting menu and switch to the light painting mode, which is this one. And next, make sure you're in the silky water mode if you want to cap capture the silky water uh, photo. Now, then you can start press the record button and it will start taking the long exposure photo. And the great thing about this um, Huawei camera app is that it will generate the uh, live, uh, it will render the live preview of what your photo will look like. So you can look at it and see when you think you want to stop. So like right now I think, okay, that looks great. Okay, so I want to stop it. I press the button again and you will stop it. And um, there are some tricks uh, when you're doing long exposure shot using the phone. Because when you press on the phone, it will cause the phone to move, vibrate a little bit. And what it means is that in your final photo, it's quite likely it will cause a little blur in the photo. And you want to avoid it, and there are two ways to avoid it. The first thing is that you can go to the camera setting screen, you swipe to the left, and then you can go to the timer, and then you can turn to um, you can turn on the timer, maybe two seconds, five seconds, or ten seconds. And what it means is that when you press the shutter button, you have a two second timer, and so that it would um, your you're pressing the button wouldn't cause any vibration and when you finish you press it and uh, gently so hopefully it wouldn't cause any vibration at all so the second way is that you can use uh, a headphone earphone and connect it to your your Huawei Mate 10 it can be a wireless one or it can be a wide one so right now I have my Sennheiser Bluetooth headset with me uh, and it's connected to the phone and what I can do is that I can just quickly press the um, okay first thing is that I need to turn off the timer mode because I don't need the timer anymore so I turn it off okay and now what I can do is that I can just press this button and that will cause the camera to start taking the long exposure photo exposure photo and um, just like last one and I just like last one I just need to look at the photo and um, see when do I want to stop and when I want to stop I can just press this button again and that will stop the long exposure so there are two quick things about using the Huawei Mate 10 to do the long exposure shot. The first thing is that you don't have to bring any ND filter to make sure it doesn't overexpose the photo. And the second thing is that unlike using a normal camera to do a long exposure shot where you have to predetermine how long your exposure is and therefore calculate what is your uh, aperture, what is the ISO and everything to make sure the, the total exposure is alright. When using um, this phone to take long exposure shot, the camera will automatically adjust the exposure for you and because basically it's just taking lots of photos and stack them together and then um, apply some smart algorithm to smoothen out the result. Uh, it doesn't really matter how long or how short the total exposure is and the exposure will always be correct. So this is a quick tutorial to show you how to use the Huawei Mate 10 to do a long exposure shot. I hope you like this little video. If you like it, please press the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I'll see you next time.